Uh, hello everybody, this is Michael from the Center for Teaching and Learning and I'm going to go over our new quiz tool. So let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll run over here to Brightspace and we're going to create a new quiz. And you're going to see now when you go into Brightspace that our quiz tool is everything is on one page. Um, it's similar to the assignment, the assignment tool now where everything's on one page. You can have your um, title, this is how you add it to the gradebook. You can give it your points and where you add your question over here on the left hand side. On the right hand side, this is where you can add your av availability dates and conditions, your timing and your display options, your attempts and completions, and the evaluation and feedback. I'm going to go over each one of these really quickly. Under availability and dates, this is where you add your start and end dates, your release conditions, your special access for students who have accommodations, and where you can add a password or manage an IP restriction. Under timing and display, this is where you add your timing stuff. When you click this, it will open up a pop-up that will show you recommended time limits are enforced and the amount of time you want to give. You can also shuffle your quiz questions under timing and display and you can disable right click or allow hints and display email. Um, there's also where you can manage your header and footer for your questions. Under attempts and completions, this is where you can authorize more than one attempt. You have up to 10 or you can give them unlimited attempts and where you can say how you want that to be calculated. You can also get notified by email. Um, lastly, probably one of the, the more important pieces is the evaluation and feedback for the students on the quiz. This is where you can auto-publish your attempted results. You can have it synchronized to the gradebook as soon as you publish the grade. Um, or you can, and you can have the um, display what you want displayed to the students once it's published. Um, you can give them the attempted grade as well as any incorrect questions with or without their correct answers or just all the questions with or without the correct answers. Um, this is also where you would add your learning objectives. So evaluation and feedback to me is probably one of the areas that that is important. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the Center for Teaching and Learning. We'd be glad to assist you.